This is Lam Slee with another segment of Success in Japan. And today we have a chance to meet with Mr. Yoshiharu Izaki, who just happens to be the mayor of Nagarayama City. And I find him to be a very down-to-earth person, and he has some fantastic plans for this city. Okay, now just a little bit off from your political side, which is very important. Behind you are some paintings. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. having visited you once before, you told me those paintings are from someone very, very special to you. <laughs> yes. Would you mind telling us who the paintings are? Okay. Uh, the two pictures behind me are painted, painted by my father. He's a Japanese painter, uh, artist. He has been doing that for 70, more than 70 years. So, uh, he, he, I, I appreciate his work very much mm -hmm. now. <laughs> when I was young, I did not appreciate it very much. It may seem small to some people, but some people are into pastries like me. Mm -hmm. Now, when I came here last time, yeah. you had me, you got me a bag full of some oh, of yeah. the best pastries you said Nagarayama mm -hmm. makes. Mm -hmm. And it really was. Mm -hmm. So, where was the baker trained? You said he was trained or he did it? Oh, trained in New York. In New York. Um, I, I heard that uh, he was working for a uh, shop, uh, you know, making a bagel. So, uh, very authentic, you know, very good bagel and bakery. Mm -hmm. um, that bagel, bag, uh, bagel was is the best in Japan. Okay. Yeah, I guarantee. That's what we need to hear. <laughs> That's what we need to hear. For all of you fans out there, or people <laughs> that just love bagels, mm -hmm. now that Ayama is the place to be. I can attest to the fact that you're really concerned about the greenery here because the last time I was here, you had a fuel-efficient car that was part battery, part gas. Mm -hmm. Right. How many cars do you have like that in the city office? I believe there are three right now. Not many yet. Mm -hmm. What do you think benefits you uh, will make this Nagarayama different than the other cities that have tried? Um, I try to bring a system that uh, encourage developers to implement greens. That will generate value in market so that uh, they don't conflict each other. I think this will uh, cooperate and co-generate a new type of city and viable market. Now, as an urban planner, do you have any, just one idea, an example of something like that? In, in Japan, I don't, I don't think so. This is probably the first challenge. Well, maybe th several challenges, but not successful ch uh, case. I like to make Nagarema uh, what we call, I call, green chain strategy to make this happen. So I would like to, uh, by watching this program, I like to invite Nagarayama to make a, your stage, new, uh, the stage for your uh, business expansion if you your business is very considered environmental issues and also environmentally sustainable. Then you cannot miss Nagarayama's environment. What I have in front of me here is one of the most beautiful canals, I would have to say, in probably the world. But most definitely, it's the largest inland canal in all of Japan. It was constructed 110 years ago, and the designer of it happens to be Dutch. But it was done, of course, by all Japanese labor. And this was just prior to the Meiji era. But as you can see, it's as beautiful as any canal could be. There's one question I always love to ask at the end of an interview, mm -hmm. and that is, how do you see success in Japan? I believe that there are two uh, things that makes me move and, and work hard. One is uh, working for people with love. And also, uh, the second one is do not put myself in box that, you know, uh, when I was in the United States, I had many, many ways that, I mean, many, many people using this place. We can do anything we believe. So I, you know, people say, oh, Yoshi has uh, this background. Yoshi has uh, this uh, academic background. Yoshi doesn't have this. Yoshi has only this. I do not put myself in frame or box that I, I can do anything if I put my will. With that, I know you can. 
and I have no doubt that you will. Thank you again, Mayor Izaki, for your time and the, the great effort you're doing for the city. I'm sure not only I, but everyone here will appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. This is my very, very much pleasure. And please come by Navarro City time to time, and you will see by yourself. As you can see, we get to end this beautiful day at the largest inland canal in all of Japan. And Mayor Hizaki has been a pleasure to interview because of his sincerity and his vision for the future. So I'd like to thank all of you for watching this edition of Success in Japan. And please stay tuned for the next edition. Thank you.